Shh, it's that in the end. Who's that? Shh, you'll see. It's the stout he's gonna get Liam. <laughs> Just watch. It's not there, you already know what happened. I only know because my grandfather told me when I was sick. It seems William is enjoying your play, Father. I'm happy he's found something to get his mind off everything else. William has grown into a fine young mouse. He's taken quite a liking to the young scouts. You know, he told me that Sophia reminds him of a certain someone. A certain someone? Who? Why, you, of course. Oh, goodness. I am nothing like Sophia. There are so many ways that I have failed him as a parent. I mean, his father... William is a wise Dibbon, and an understanding one. He'll be all right. Sorry. Sorry. Where have you been, Matthew? You missed the whole second act. So sorry. I think I got that cold you had, William. I barely convinced Mum to let me come back and see the rest of the play. Come on, you just made it in time for Act 3. Uh, what's going on? Liam is going to get eaten by stones. <laughs> what I miss? Shh, you guys, I want to watch. Well, we've got to get Matthew up to speed. Liam made it to the lighthouse, but with scum snout hot on his heels. Oh, wait, wait, wait. How did he get to the lighthouse again? And, uh... <laughs> oh, I wish Scumsnout there. Scumsnout and his rats attacked Lilygrove. Remember? It was the night that Liam was awarded the title of Eagle Eye and initiated into the Lilygrove Scout Corps. But Scumsnout and his sea rats attacked, and so Captain Robin sent Liam to light the Lilygrove Lighthouse. Oh, right. I remember now. But then Scumsnout sent him flying off the lighthouse tower with his massive tail. But don't worry, Liam was okay. He landed in a pile of hay. Sophia had been bitten by Scumsnout, whose drool was as poisonous as an adder. Ew! She needed a healer, so Robin sent Liam and Sophia to the Winsome Wraith, where an old friend of his would be able to help them. Of course, Liam had some trouble along the way to the Wraith, but Fraby and the more Glimba joined in to help. They made new enemies too, like the Sea Rat Captain, Cheese Thief. Cheese Thief was after the mice because he knew they had a special key, the Tanagram. Then, in Pontederia, Liam had to battle Scumsnout again. What is that weird problem? Scumsnout chased Liam over the docks and bridges of Pontederia. Finally, Liam jumped across and Scumsnout... Well, he didn't make it. It's about time. He fell down into a giant sinkhole. And they all found the winsome wraith. There was just one catch. The healer was a stout. A stout? But aren't stouts dangerous? I guess you'll have to find out. And what makes you think we want to help you, little mouse? Well, we... Stand uh... down, Bolo. Now, Scout, you said. Robin sent you. Yes, that's right. Please, it's my Sophia here. She's being poisoned. Captain Robin said you could help her. Of course we can. They're strangers. That's enough. Both of you. Oh, Mouse does look in a bad way. You better come inside. Welcome to the Winsome Wraith. This is my son, Bolo. My daughter, Mila. Hi. You'll have to forgive us for frightening you. We have a standard protocol for strange visitors. I wasn't being frightened or hurt. No. What's happened to this young mouse? She was bit by that wretched wear at scum snout. The one with the infectious snout. I see. Come, here's the infirmary. I'll see to Sophia immediately. Your friend's not looking too good, eh? Great diagnosis, Bo. Shut up, Toad for Brains. Enough. Lie her down here. 
Ouch. Ouch. What were you doing around a wear it anyway? Bolo, please fetch the fever few from the pantry. Hurry now. I... Fine. Mila Miflower, I need you to stir this mix. Keep it to the flame, but do not let it boil. Yes, Papa. Mm. It smells worse than ever. What you're smelling is what? The broken skin has gone black with infection, but it hasn't yet spread to the blood. There's time, but not much. Oh, must of light. We need more ginkgo before the tincture gets too warm. Can you fetch it from the back shelf? It will smell like this leaf here. Right away. Jars. It's hard to tell them apart with your eyes, but the nose always knows. We use ginkgo for lots of different things, but I think Papa is giving it to Sophia to help with her foggy head. There should be plenty of ginkgo leaves on the shelf. Have you bought the ginkgo? We need to work fast. Well, you've brought ginkgo as well as just about everything else. No worries, I'll put it all back later. Next. the Valerian. If it's fallen somewhere, I'm sure you can sniff it out. I can't believe we finally made it, 
Freddy? Aye, and thank Martin they've got dinner cooking for us. Oh, my stomach sounds like a growling wildcat. I'm just so worried about Sophia. Ah, don't you be quivering your tail off, Liam. Robin said Valor's the best healer south of the Red Wall. Plus, Sophia's a fighter. I'm not worried. What do you think about the Scrimpoles? Well, uh, they seem friendly. Except for that Bolo. He's making me nervous. Ah, but don't worry. If he tries anything, I swear I'll knock him. He's about five times your size, Brady. A uh, what of it? We'll chat more at supper.
Hello, Glimber. Oh, hello, Mr. Liam. Hello. bedroom on the port side of the ship. Mila, if you need any help, I've got to focus on the work. Valeria needs a route that helps you fall asleep. And good sound sleep is critical to a full recovery. It smells pretty bad, which makes it easy to forage, but doesn't do much to help with the smell of rot in the water.
Atlantis? That's a good... Now, Bolo. Bolo? That boy. <clears throat> it's important I see to the stitching on the bite. Would you go grab the fever fuel from Bolo? What is it? sent me to see if you've found the fever few yet. If it's not in the pantry, ask Mila. I don't know. But Valo sent you to collect it. I'm not your cabin boy. You have a nose, don't you? Find it yourself. I know you have it, and my Sophia needs it. Can't you just give me some... Boo-hoo for your Sophia. I told you already, I don't have any. I can smell the fever few on you. You want me to tell Valo you're messing with his medicines? Are you threatening me, Mouse? Ha! <laughs> Get lost. I know I can smell fever fuel. I followed his scent. I'm sure I can find wherever he hid it. But why would he hide it in the first place? What is it? Um, Valo sent me. I'm not your cabin boy. I know I... Smell the fever few. But why lock it in a chest? I'll bet badgers to biscuits the key is hidden nearby. I smell the fever few. I'll bet badgers to biscuits the key is hidden nearby. I smell the fever. I'll bet. Found it. Rest now, for a while. Who is she? It will take some time to settle in her system, but it will slow the infection and bring down her fever. In the meantime, I'm sure you are quite weary yourself. Would you care for some dinner? Oh, yes! I made a great soup today. Perfect for warming you up on a cold winter's night. I'll have it heated up in a whisker. Come by me in the galley when you're ready to eat, okay? Wait, Valo. We didn't only come here for Sophia. Oh. This here, it's a special key. The Tango. Robin said it would be safe for you. What were you thinking, Spring Hunter? What? The hell? Where did Robin get this? I don't know. I don't even know what it's for. Only that the rats want it, it's important they don't get it. Please, 
Robin trusts you to keep it safe. And I... I don't know what else to do with it. Very well. I'll put this in my study and we will discuss it later. For now, it's important Sophia gets a rest. You ought to as well. Let Mila know when you're ready for supper. Until then, please, make yourself at home. If you'd like to chat with me or anyone else, you ought to do it before we eat. Thank you, Mr. Scrimple. For everything. Call me fellow. Any friend of Robin's is a friend of mine. I am quite curious as to what events led to all this. But I can wait for a warm bowl of soup. We should see how everyone is doing before we sit down with them. many Woodlander visitors, Mila. No? So you're special? I was hoping we might chat for a moment. Of course! What would you like to talk about? I have to say, I've never been in the home of the... I, I mean, Stokes before. I wasn't sure what to expect. I really hope you can all feel at home here. about your mother. Oh, yes. It's been a few hard seasons since she passed away. So sorry. What was your mother like? Oh, she was so spirited and vivacious. All four of us would go on these long walks through the forest each and every evening after supper. And while Papa gathered herbs, Ma would draw sketches of the trees. She thought trees were the most beautiful things in the world. She'd go on about the life that flowed through the veins and the leaves, and how they connected to the limbs, then the trunk, and all the way deep into the roots in the soil, as if the tree were a critter itself. I loved listening to her talk. Wow. I would have loved to have met her. She would have loved to meet you too. father seem quite close. We are. I'm going to be a hero as good as him someday, so he spends lots of time with me, teaching me everything he knows. Have you ever met Captain Robin? Captain Robin? Do you mean Uncle Jeb? He's the captain. Uncle Jeb? Who's that? He lives nearby, just past the slough. Sometimes we go to his house for lunch, or he comes to ours. He's the best. Besides Papa, of course. What's your brother Bolo like? I admit, he doesn't seem too keen on having us as guests. Oh, don't mind him. Pa says he's going through a phase. Ah, well. I was once a teenager myself. I don't see why he has to be so mean sometimes, though. But, really, he isn't so bad. He even saved my life from a hawk once. My Martin, you must have luck on your side. I wouldn't call it luck. We are quite the talented sibling duo, you know. Remember, a few seasons ago, when Dragage Fever came back? Well, I snuck away from home to help Avon find the cure. But I got caught by a hawk. Bolo came to rescue me. 
Though, I'm sure I could have escaped on my own. Avon? I heard that name before. Didn't you hear? Avon saved all Mossflower from the fever. But you know, I helped Avon get the cure to Red Wolf just in the nick of time. Is that so? I sure did. Yes. It's an awful spring. We were lucky the feet didn't quite reach Lily Grove before the cure arrived. So many of the critters to share our work. Aye. But you know, I helped Avon get the cure to Red Wall just in the nick of time. Hiya! It's... Do you have many Woodlander visitors, Neil? No. So you're special. I was hoping we might chat for a moment. Of course! What would you like to talk about? You want to be a healer, then? I already am a healer. I'm just not the best one yet. But once you are, you're going to go to Ridwall? Yep. Bolo says I shouldn't set my sights so high, being a stoat and all. But if I'm the best healer there is, they have to let me work there, right? Of course. Redwall is dedicated to helping others. They're certain to take in all the best healers. You're right. I just have to figure out what happened to make Mama sick first. Now, Liam. About Sophia. I'm sorry to say, but my remedy for her is only temporary. What do you mean? What she needs is calendula. I've seen the worst of Adamites healed. Fortunately, the flower doesn't grow here, Liam. You need to continue on to Red Wall. To Red Wall? Can she make it that far? If anyone can help Sophia, it's the Red Wall healers. That's why I'm going to work there too. As if Red Wall would allow a stunt to heal their ill. Ha! <laughs> they will if I'm the best. I'll. Enough. In any case, the Red Wall healers are the best. Should make it so long as you hurry. I know a shortcut to the Abbey. Once there, the healers will heal her up in no time. And you'll be welcome there. Woodlanders are always welcome at Redwall. Yeah, and you're not a woodland. Enough. Well, I suppose it's off to Redwall then. And here I thought our journey was over. You're welcome to rest here as long as you need. Now, let's eat. What an amazing feast, Valo. We greatly appreciate you inviting us into your home. And for caring for Sophia. You're very welcome, young scout. Now tell me, how did your betrothed come to be bitten by such a foul beast? Sea rats. They've come much further in than we'd ever expect. Who knows why? We had to get Sophia to safety. And for the other reason, I told you. Of course. What other reason? Never mind, Bolo. When Bolo simply won't help, he'll hand it off to the whelp. Uh-huh. What was that? Say it again. When Bolo simply won't help, he'll hand it off to the whelp. Did we miss something? Just a little game of scrimp horse play. Sending a riddle inside a riddle. At dinner, it's usually something like... Uh... Loaf. Bread. When I don't help, Pa calls me a loaf. And I call you a whelp. Hand it off to the whelp. You want me to pass the bread. You solved it! Very clever, my flower. Of course I've figured it out, Pipsqueak. That was an easy one. Do you all want to try? That sounds fun! Okay. Here's an easy one to start. With cheese they come on an adventure. To trust the stoats with their treasure. With cheese? Oh! You mean mice! Us! We came to you on an adventure to... To... Bring you treasure? Uh... Not quite. You're the mice. Sophia is your treasure. And you're trusting us to help her. Yous was close, Mr. Liam. Here's another one. And I'll even give you a hint. It's about me. Winter May brings no showers, but in spring comes a white flower. Here's another one. And I'll even give you a hint. It's about me. Winter May brings no showers, but in spring comes a white flower. So 
showers. Uh, you like spring more than winter? Uh, no. I was trying to tell you that my birthday is in the spring. Let me do one. You're such a hog, Mila. Bolo. Solve this. Not only do the bog toads croak, so do pit squeaks with too much loaf. <laughs> Toads like bread? He's making fun of me. If you didn't talk with so much food in your mouth, I wouldn't have to. That's enough. I think Liam and his friends have had enough games for the night. What do you say, Liam? Oh, I don't mind. Were you expecting someone? <laughs> it's the rats. They must have followed your trail. You all must go. Go! Hide now! Bolo, show them! I won't leave you. Now! Take your sister! What are you doing here, rat? And explain, if you would, why you bother destroying my property when a friendly knock would have sufficed. I don't give a mouse's whisker about your property, sympathizer. We're looking for some mice, and we have reason to believe they're hiding with you. What do you call sympathizer rat? What would I want this set of pathetic mice? They came this way, of course, but I scared them off. Can't imagine why they didn't want to stay. Now, I can't ask you not to clear out as well. But you seem such great hosts. Second go. You did something going on in the middle. I thought it was a 
not to split off Glimba, especially in situations like this. Oh, I'd be sorry, Mr. Liam. I was following Mr. Freeby. It's okay. What matters is that you're all right. Where is Freeby? I don't be knowing. Captain, some of these barrels be appearing on me. Okay. Where's that pickaxe go? Outside, all right. I'll find Freeby. Oh, I could have sworn. Goodness, I. Second burn will be coming this way. Just hang tight, Glimba. Find some way to distract them. That's wonderful. Must be more imagination. Keep searching, keep searching, and Captain will be happy to know it. Where are all the good tools? Captain, some of these barrels be empty! Where'd that pickaxe go? Oh, I could have sworn this was filled with nails a second ago. Knew there was something going on in here. I thought I saw a master on the roof. Must have been more imagination. Keep searching, keep searching, and Captain will be happy to know it. Where are all the good tools? Captain, some of these barrels be empty! Where'd that pickaxe go? Oh, I could have sworn this was filled with nails a second ago. Knew there was something going on in here. I thought I saw a master on the roof. It must have been more imagination. Keep searching, keep searching, and Captain will be happy to know it. Where are all the good tools? Captain, some of these barrels be empty! Where'd that pickaxe go? Oh, I could have sworn this was filled with nails a second ago. Knew there was something going on in here. I thought I saw a master on the roof. Must have been more imagination. Keep searching, keep searching, and Captain will be happy to know it. over there in the next room. Get out of them for me, will ya? Don't drop these barrels. Like back in Silver Sands. Oh, there's a show to hear the crash. Did you forget who you're talking to? With legs as long as mine, I can outrun any half-wit vermin with my paws tied in a burlap sack.
ever mind their own business, Gah? Uh, mind lending another pot, Eagle Eye? You got it. Not that it'd be much of a challenge. Ah, just shut up and give me a pot with this hero. Oh. He's raw heavier than a loaded cannon. Ever, you say? I'll handle the ore. And maybe Daisy will see how strong I am. <laughs> oh, but, um, I wanted to ask you, what's in the ports? Now, well, you see, I have to press Daisy. Find your little pounds. Where have you gone? in any minute if I don't stop them.
too? Could they even follow us here? Wall be in that way, Mr. Liam. Er, you mean right through the slough? Portman Slough was a mysterious bog, rumored to have ensnared many wandering critters, woodlander, and vermin alike in its time, none of whom were ever heard from again. Now be careful, Liam, will ya? We's all gonna be drowning in this bogger. Is the ship supposed to be glowing? By Martin, 
the stoats. Stop, Liam. You can't just go rushing into a fire. Oh, I did be seeing these stoaty babes slid out this ship before you did rescue me, Mr. Liam. Boy, you reckon they be out here somewhere with us? What about the tangrum? I left it with Volo. I snatched it from his rum. Soon as the rats showed their faces. Ah, oh, Freddy. Brilliant as always. It was odd. I felt rather like something was calling me to fetch it. I'm sure it was just your quick-witted mind, saving the day as expected. Now, how in Martin's name are we going to get through this?